Hey guys, I'm Holly Mostella. If you got one of the Holly Mostella and Counterculture collaboration boxes, then you got one of my very favorite glitters. It was Amory. This is a hand mixed custom heart holographic glitter and I've gotten requests on how I do an ombre with this and get the perfect blend. So I'm going to show you today how I do that to get the perfect blend using a chunky glitter featuring Amory. When you guys started getting Amory in the mail, you were so excited and I was too. But one of the biggest questions was, how do I blend this chunky mix? And it's not just with Amory, it's with all chunky glitters. So I'm gonna show you how to get that perfect blend so that it is super easy and effortless and all of your cups look professional. For this cup, I use the Rust-Oleum two times. I always try to use that brand. It's my favorite because it has the paint and primer and it's just less coats. It runs less, it's just a better paint. Um, this is Hunt Club Green and I also used Forest Green. I don't know if they discontinued Forest Green, but my store stopped carrying it. So I switched over to the Hunt Club Green and I've taken my wine glass spray painted it. I'm gonna put some epoxy on it and show you guys how to do it. So I have my epoxy mix and I have my tumbler spray painted. My tumbler turner is from Dino's and I'm gonna link that for you guys below. Um, they are the best tumbler turner makers in the whole wide world. Now I'm very confident when I say that. I don't use anybody else other than Dino's. I have my um, counterculture silicone mat, which is gonna catch any epoxy. So while I apply my epoxy, I'm gonna make sure I do it over the mat so I don't make a mess. So it doesn't take a ton of epoxy for this method. And see how it drips? We definitely want to put something underneath or whatever surface you're working on. It's just gonna be a mess. This epoxy dries and cures like glass. So once it is mixed together, it is going to create that glass effect. So be careful with the surface you're working on, but it peels off of silicone. Okay, we have it on there and then I'm going to do the most important step of the epoxy, which it always seems intimidating if you've not used one, but let me tell you, it's not. I'm going to use the torch. The torch head comes from Counterculture and I love it because it's adjustable and that's all it does, guys. It's really not that scary. I know it seems intimidating. I was always afraid to use it. And then you want the camping fuel propane tank. You can get this at Walmart or Amazon. I can link it for you. But I've got the counterculture torch head and then I'm going to just put this and blast it over short bursts on my epoxy. Why this is so important is it's going to even your epoxy out. It's going to pop all those small micro bubbles so you get that glass finish. If you don't torch, you don't have a good foundation. You're not going to have a good finish. It's so important. This is just a one-time purchase. So you just buy the torch head and then you get refillable tanks for the base. So let me show you guys. I'm going to bring the camera in and zoom and show you how it pops these bubbles that you may have missed. You see them 
top. So just really short burst. You're not going to hold it down and spray the torch. You're just gonna kind of pop those bubbles. Just think of it just like you're spray painting your cup. Just kind of run it down the cup and along the bottom. And then we have a glass finish foundation. It's also really important when you're, even when you're using glitter, because if you have bubbles, it can prevent that glitter from laying flat and even. So. The Amory comes in this two ounce pouch and here is the key to getting a good ombre blend and it is getting a shaker. So counterculture sells shakers. I have one here that's glass um, that I just had laying around the shop and I transferred Amory over. And just another tip for you guys, I always take the sticker off of the pack and put them onto my glitter jars so I know what color they are and where they came from. And I love that counterculture, you're, ab you're able to do that. Okay, so because I'm going to be really shaking this glitter down, I'm gonna put a piece of paper underneath my tumbler because I don't wanna waste a single speck of Amory. I love her so much. So for this, for the first part, you can either take the top off of your shaker or you can use the big side of your shaker depending on what kind you have. And don't be shy, go ahead and sprinkle it on. Sprinkle it up to your line where it kind of where you want it to be. And I'm going by the curve of the tumbler. Don't worry if it's terribly uneven. You just want to get that base down. We can fix that in a bit. Okay, so here is where I always get the questions. Here's where we always run into, I don't know how to get that ombre smooth. And here is the secret. You want to make sure that your shaker has these little holes and that is going to give us our ombre effect. It's going to let all of the ultra fine and smaller cuts escape through these holes so that we can blend and leaving all of the bigger pieces behind so that the smaller pieces can run up the cup. So then we're just gonna start shaking it in through and see how it starts to blend. You can do this and build it as much as you want. So if your first layer is kind of thin, just keep letting the cut pass. And then you'll get that even coverage. If you want to take it a little bit higher, you can. I like to do this with Amory because it has those little heart pieces. And you can think of the epoxy almost as your adhesive. It's going to grab onto all of those pieces of glitter and hold them. And then if I wanted to put a couple of big hearts, I just grab them on, my, on a fingertip and sprinkle them down. just for that special touch, because I really want these hearts to be seen. So I'm gonna let this dry. I'm using Fast Set, so it's gonna take about two hours or less. Then I'm going to put another coat of epoxy on so that it is not just touching a raw glitter. If you wait just about 20 minutes with the Fast Set, you can kind of tap the hard pieces down. Like if you have any hearts that are just sticking up, I do it immediately if you're a risk taker like me because you really can just cover it right up with that glitter. OK, 
Okay, so we went from having a really harsh, hard line to now we have a perfectly blended ombre. Thank you guys for joining me. I cannot wait to see what you make with Amory. Um, I have to say that it has been an absolute amazing adventure to share this glitter and this collaboration with you guys. Please continue to tag me on Instagram at Holly Mostella. And thank you to Counterculture for all of their amazing products. And thank you for watching.